Hello! It's cheapo digital camera time! For some reason, I went out and bought the cheapest digital camera I could find, and found this little beauty for £6. I tried to pick the least garish colour, and to be honest, it's still pretty offensive to the eye. Look at it. Damn autofocus. Uh, it's, they are always encased, imprisoned in these nearly impenetrable plastic packaging. I don't quite know if it's to protect the camera from the public, or the public from the camera. But I've taken the liberty of cutting it open anyway, so let's see what's inside. The camera, obviously. It usually comes with loads of extras. Ah! A USB cable, that's always useful. Oh, no it's not. It's only got the connection that fits into this camera, so it's nearly useless unless you want to transfer pictures from this camera, which I assure you you will never want to do, ever. Paper thing. Mmm, paper. Oh, load of gubbins fell out. I don't know if you can read that. It says, please do not return to the store if problem with this camera. <laughs> Where are you supposed to return it to, then? You have to phone a very long phone number to try and get your money back on this camera if it doesn't work, which undoubtedly isn't going to work properly. Instruction manual. Mm -hmm. Pretty standard stuff. I don't think it came from Japan or anywhere, so there won't be any funny English. And a software CD that no one really needs unless their computer is so mind-bendingly obsolete that it would offend even their technophobic grandmother. Um, anything else? Nope. The camera. Opening the battery compartment. Battery is not included, obviously. Oh, there's a... I don't know if you can see that. Damn autofocus. But there's a little screw. A tiny screw stopping you from opening the battery compartment. I don't even know if I've got a screwdriver that big. We've just had Christmas, and every year, in the Christmas crackers, somebody gets a tiny set of screwdrivers. And it's never me. It took me about 15 minutes to try and find a screwdriver small enough to take this tiny screw out. I don't know if you can see that because my camera has no autofocus. But that, that is a really tiny screw. That's, that, that's like the kind of screws you get in glasses. I managed to find a screwdriver, a terminally ill terminal screwdriver that was uh, I was going to throw away. So, good job I didn't. I'm gonna... hmm, thoroughly pointless screw there for some reason. Because the, the back slides off quite easily and stays on without the need for there being a screw there. Hmm, seems odd. But it takes triple A's, so I managed to find one of those while I was at it. Hmm. Oh, it beeps! That's always nice. I don't know if you can see that because the lighting in this room is terrible, but it's just got the little number 20 in the, in the liquid crystal display. On there. Let's take a picture. Let's take another one. And another one. And believe it or not, this little camera does take film, which I'll show you the footage from that film now. Hello! This is the footage from that film. Hi! Hmm. Almost certainly going to be astonishingly bad picture quality. But, you haven't seen the best bit yet. This is the best bit. <gasps> A viewfinder! That pops out the top! That's nowhere near... The, the lens. The, there's nowhere near the, the, the camera lens. Yep, so basically a thoroughly useless camera. Thoroughly useless camera.